Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Paige and today I want to tell you some favorite series that I've read in 2021. So these are book series that I've read all of them or most of them in 2021 that I absolutely adored. I did not put these on my standalones because they are a series. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one is The Beautiful Hearts Duet by Emma Scott. This is an emotional uh, duet, of course, by Emma Scott. But this is about a girl who goes to college and she meets, she has a connection with this guy until his best friend asks her out. And so she accepts his, his proposal for on a date. She starts dating him and then they have a relationship while his best friend uh, is kind of in the background and who she really does have a deep connection with. They're very, you know, very much alike and all. And then they go off to join the military, go off to war, something tragic happens. They come back and it is just, they're both changed. And she's trying to navigate, you know, her relationship with her boyfriend, but also with his friend. And there's just a lot of things, a heavy topic, tragic things that happen. And it's just a love triangle. So I love a very well done love triangle. And this one was it for sure. The next one is The Bergman Brothers by Chloe Lee. I did put the first two books in my favorites of 2021 but I did read all four of the books that are in her series and I absolutely adored the series. I love the family. I love the Bergman family. Each book centers around one of the Bergman children, you know, one of the Bergman siblings. And the first one revolves around the brother Ryder. The second one revolves around the brother Wren. The third one revolves around our sister. I can't remember her name. Freya. Freya. I remembered. <laughs> Rare. <laughs> And the fourth one revolves around <laughs> are we surprised that i did not remember her name no we're not <laughs> okay um anyway the fourth one revolves around the the older brother i can't remember his name he's the artist <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I love this series and I am anxiously anticipating the next one. I hope it's, I hope she writes it soon. I am, love this series so much. The next series is the Loose End series by Rebecca Weatherspoon. This is Rafe and Zinni. I'm sure everybody knows this by now, but Rafe is a, um, a male nanny who takes care of her kids and this is their romance. Zinni is dealing with the loss of her grandmother and her grandmother had kind of put in her will that they have to marry each other. So this is a marriage of convenience and both were really, really good. The next is the Grip series by Kennedy Ryan. This is probably my all time favorite series of 2021. So, so, so good. This is about Grip in Bristol. I put the third book in the series on my favorites of 2021, but you do have to read them all. Start with Flow, uh, which really should have been like book one, but it's actually a novella before book one, but you definitely need that prequel to their story to kind of like understand what's gone on before um, the, you know, bulk of their romance. But this is about it. Uh, Grip, he's an aspiring artist, you know, aspiring rapper. And Bristol is, she, when we first meet her, she is going to college to become a manager. And then she does later become his, his manager. And she's also her brother's manager, but this is their romance and it's so good. It's very slow burn build up because it take, takes place over quite a while of time which is how Kennedy Ryan usually does her romances. And Grip just wants Bristol so much. And finally he, you know, she accepts his offer, you know, to date him. And oh, their story is amazing. So, so amazing. I highly recommend you read the series. If you haven't, you need to, please. It is so good. The next series is the Soul series by Kennedy Ryan. This revolves around Bristol's brother, Reese. 
he is a famous you know he's pretty much like a musical prodigy and he's been famous ever since he was a little boy but and this is his romance with Mia my Kai Kai I remember her name <laughs> <laughs> but this is their romance. She's an aspiring artist as well. And she tells him that she they cannot have a relationship because she wants to become an artist on her own instead of just using his famous name. And she feels like it's kind of cheating. And so they're just friends until it blossoms into more. The next series is the Brown Sisters series by Talia Hibbert. The first one I did read previously, but I did read the last two books in the series, which is Witches, Take a Hint, Denny Brown, and Actor Abe, Eve, Eve Brown. I read these two and absolutely adored them. I liked these two better than the first one, which is Actor uh, Get a Like Chloe Brown. And uh, these, these books follow the other two sisters in that family and I really loved their stories. Taking Hint Danny Brown is kind of a friends to lovers situation and then actor age Eve Brown is kind of enemies to lovers because he completely thinks she's an idiot at first and I really enjoyed those books as well. The next one is the Scarred Soul series by Tilly Cole. This is a very dark romance series. This just deals with a lot of heavy topics as all of the people in this kind of series are have been abused and you do see some of it on page and essentially the starts off with the first book is the boy from like this mafia group is kidnapped when he's a little boy and he's raised to be a fighter and he's just kind of like known as a number and they pump him full of drugs and just make him into this great fighter who at these fight you know like these illegal fights they have to fight to the death and so he is <clears throat> has been raised since that since he was a boy until he escapes and then each of the stories in the book is another fighter who is rescues who is either rescued or escapes and has to kind of learn how to be a person again other than just like this beast that they have created the next one is the mindfuck series by st abby i binge read this entire series which the books are not that long and i just had to read them back to back to back because i had to know how the series ended each one kind of leaves off on a cliffhanger so it really makes you want to pick up the next book this is a girl she was badly wronged when she was younger and now she's become this like serial killer getting justice killing all the guys that did her and her brother wrong and she falls in love with an fbi agent who is trying <laughs> He is after the serial killer, which is her, but he doesn't know that. So it's so, you know, kind of like forbidden, but very intriguing. And it's just, it was such a good series. And I completely binged it in like less than a week. I also really like the Sweet Omegaverse series by Catherine Moon. I know this is very, uh, some people hate it. Some people love it. I am one of the ones who loves it. This is the Omegaverse world, which if you don't know, there's Alpha, Omegas, and Betas. And each of these books revolves either around a Omega or a Beta or an Alpha. And... I really, really enjoyed the series and I'm looking forward to more. There, Lana Cole also contributes to the series, but I don't really enjoy hers quite as well as I do Catherine Moons. Catherine Moons is just phenomenal. I also picked up the first two books in the All Access series by Evie Mitchell. The first book is around, about a girl who is has who is in a wheelchair, who has this disability and it's, it's her romance. And the second one is about a girl who has this chronic illness and she has made a business for herself. And both books are absolutely wonderful. They're really short books, pretty short. Um, they're very easy, you know, to read in a day. 
and they are very inclusive and just it's such a great series i really have enjoyed them i wish they were longer wish there was a little bit more between the characters but i know that they're probably designed to be shorter links but i'm looking forward to the next one in that series as well this next series i absolutely adore i binge read all of these as well except for the first one the first one i read previously but i read all the other ones and absolutely adored it it's the puck series by helena hunting this revolves around a group of hockey players that are all on the same team the first one is pucked and it starts with Violet's story to Alex. And then the second book is her stepbrother, uh, Buck or Miller. And this was his romance with Summer. And then it just goes from there. It goes through all the hockey players on the team. And I had such great enjoyment reading this story. As well as there are books like in between the couple stories that are kind of like all of them. But that kind of flows throughout all the books anyway you really see all of the characters from the you know the the series in every single book and i loved their you know when they would all get together and just it was uh i cannot ex tell you how much that i enjoyed the series it was just so so good i also finished up the green creek series by tj clune as I read Wolf Song previously the year before, but I went ahead and finished up the other ones and it's such a phenomenal series. Wolf Song is definitely my favorite in the series, but they are all so fantastic. It's, the second book revolves around the witch of the group and one of the wolf shifters. And then from there, it's the, uh, the other books follow the other brothers in that family of wolf shifters. And I can tell you that every single book made me cry. There is so much emotion weaved through these stories in the series. And it's a continual, like, they're throughout the series, they're fighting off these bad guys who are trying to, you know, destroy them. And all the way up till the end, there's even a few, like, novellas that she put in between the books that I read as well. Oh. I can't tell you how much I cried reading these books because they are just such packed with so much emotion and I just adore this paranormal romance series. The, the next one is Death by Daybreak MC by uh, CM Stunick. This is the first book she had out for quite a while and I had previously DNF'd it. I just don't think I was in the right mindset. Plus there are some aspects to it that are kind of hard to <laughs> get around. She is underage when the first, you know, she, this is a reverse harem. So this girl is the daughter of the president of the motorcycle club and she hates her father so much. Her sisters were killed previously by this other, um, by this, the mafia who came in and she just completely hates her family and she is, she survived that. And she has this, she'd had this previous connection with <laughs> four of her dad's uh, motorcycle club members and they, of course, this is a huge age gap. And the first thing that happened was she was underage, which was the turn off for me. But I did keep on reading because CM Stunick did write and finish this series in 2021. And so I read the series and I ended up really liking it. Um, she really grows as a character also. She's kind of bratty in the beginning, but she does kind of grow in her character to where she is makes better decision is more but more mature but she's kidnapped by the mafia they have to rescue her and this is her romance with the four guys from the motorcycle club and you know just trying to also survive the war that is between them and the mafia and there's a lot that goes on in these three books and uh it's definitely not my favorite motorcycle club romance but i did enjoy it yeah. 
The next one is On the Ropes by Ali Martinez. I read all three of these books in the series. It revolves around the three brothers and their family. And it is based on they are all go to this uh, like fighting ring. Um, this gym who teaches you how to box for underprivileged kids. And this is kind of like it all revolves around this theme. And but it, the three books are about each of the brothers and they were so fantastic. I love the series, love the, the family and was definitely a favorite series that I read in 2021. I also read The Lost Boys by Emma Scott. I know I did include this on my top favorites of 20, uh, my top 25 favorites of 2021. But I just wanted to put this on here because it is one of my favorite series that I did read in 2021. This is about the Lost Boys, which there's three of them at that kind of like, they're the rejects at the school and they create their own group and they call them the Lost Boys. And this was each of their stories. If you want to know more about it, go watch my top 25. I kind of go into more detail about them, but they were so, so good. And then I just kind of want to end this on, I have still been reading, I finished the Ice Planet Barbarian series in 2021, which that's been an ongoing series I've been reading, but I did finish it in 2021. I also have been, I finished Ice Home series, which is the spinoff to Ice Planet Barbarians. Although I think she's still continuing writing that, but I've read everything that she has um release so far and I've read everything for her Fireblood Dragon series except for the new one that's about that's supposed to be released sometime in 2022 but I have been continuing on in those series and I've read everything that she has published for those series in 2021 so anyway those are some of my favorite series that i read in 2021 let me know what you read in 2021 or let me know if you've read any of the ones that i've read i hope you guys have a great day and i will see you in my next video bye